Oh dear, yellow warning, heavy rain forecast. Hmm, doesn't bode well for a night in the tent. Morning folks, it's Nick here. Day four. Just left the campsite about half a mile ago. Forgot to press the record button. Never mind, hey ho. Today's plan is to head to Inverness. Weather's apparently not going to be great. Uh, but we shall just have to see and take it as it is. Garmin estimates about 325 miles. I think I can safely press start now. Because it keeps wanting to take me up this little farm track. Oh, 328 miles. I think it says about 8 hours. 7 hours 44. But of course that does mean it expects me to travel at 60 mile an hour along the little tiny country lanes and I'm well, currently doing half that. So that's not going to happen. But I'm going via Edinburgh. Hopefully avoiding motorways. Hopefully getting a good mix of roads. And I'm not sure how far I'll get tonight or today. Setting off later than anticipated because wait for it, here's the excuse. There was a terrible rainstorm during the night and Buckinghamshire Palace, my tent, held up very well. But it meant this morning everything was really wet and it was still drizzling and I gave it a chance just to stop the drizzle at least and then got going. I did have breakfast. I made one of those oat so simple porridge things. You just add hot water and let it stand for a while and it was it was quite good. A couple of biscuit bars and a coffee. And then packed up everything. Packed everything nicely away. Realized I'd packed one of my straps. <sighs> so then I had to look for the strap and I couldn't find it I thought oh that's ridiculous it's got to be here somewhere never mind I do have spare straps so I used a spare strap and then one of the comments from somebody many many episodes ago in the European tour said I always do a check before I set off, just round the bike, just in case anything's dropped. And there, hiding under the back wheel, in the shadow of the panniers, was the strap. <sighs> but that meant an extra 10-15 minutes. So anyway, consequently, it's, well, it's 10 o'clock now, my usual time. <laughs> As I was saying, been going just a couple of miles now and this is the type of road that we're navigating along. Which is fine, it's very nice. But it does mean of course that that 7 hours 40 odd estimate is very optimistic. I would say it's going to be, if it's like this all the way, double that. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure there's some main roads coming up. But this is all very pleasant. Still headed to Kirkstone Pass. But I think at the top of Kirkstone Pass we turn left. That's what we did yesterday. Well, after going as far as we could and came back and we turned right. Oh, it's much different today. Look how dark it is up on those passes over there, if there are passes. It's 
also this is the detour because we can't continue over Kirkstone Pass beyond or just before Patterdale which is a shame just riding along the A66 heading So this is the city of Carlisle. I assume it's a city. Interesting round building. In point four of a mile, we're crossing the border from England to Scotland according to Zatnav. Oh, here we are, look. Big signpost. Hold on a second. There's a photo opportunity. Bit of blue sky, look. Looks quite nice. Still 246 miles from Inverness and about 70 miles from Edinburgh, I think. So we'll see how it goes. Still on the A7. According to a sign we just passed, the A7 is the historic route to Edinburgh, just entering the town or city of Galashiels. I think it's, it's, it's the tapestry centre of Scotland, something similar. Notice that most of the towns I've come through have been a 20 mile an hour speed limit, which is very, very slow when you try and or drive for a couple of miles, 20 miles an hour, just seems very slow. Just taking a minor detour off the A7 to Borthwick Castle, which is just up ahead. It's a private venue, apparently. No public access. It's not the most ornate, is it? Nice, nonetheless, though. We're now in Edinburgh, in the heart. About half a mile from the castle. I'm not sure how far or how near we'll be able to get. That road is closed. Maybe I can see it from here. Oh, there we go. What on earth? Well, that looks peculiar, doesn't it? Just has a little 
right around the base then. Not the best view. Doesn't look too grand from here, but I can't really get to it. That's no entry. Well, Lucy saw it. Anyway, there's still 162 miles and it's already, well it's nearly 5 o'clock. So I'm going to see how far I can get. I'm thinking if I don't book a campsite soon, or if I don't come across a campsite in an hour or so's time, which is still taking people on, then I'll get a bed and breakfast or a guest house or something. Actually, like a wild camp here in Scotland. So if all wheels fails, I can just stop. Not on the motorway. <laughs> that wouldn't be very pleasant. Well, lots of traffic again. Looks like it's for the fourth row bridge. Queen Ferry Crossing. Queen's Ferry Crossing. We're heading in the direction of Perth. Then on to Inverness. That was a bit of interest. Oh dear, yellow warning, heavy rain forecast. Hmm. Doesn't bode well for a night in the tent. And we're back on these small roads again. These are 40 mile an hour walking and cycling friendly road. Looks like we hook up in a moment with the main drag again. Make some progress there. Pretty though. It's just gone six o'clock and I've booked a room at the Bay Inn Hotel, which is, or Bell Inn, Bay Inn Inn, which is just there. I uh, just missed it, so I'll go around for it. But anyway, uh, £51 for the night bed and breakfast. I rode until about six o'clock and then looked on booking.com for a B&B. &B. The reason for that was the weather forecast is dire and it was getting late. This does bed breakfast and it also does evening meals so that will suit me. Just park here. All that leaves me to do is say bye for now. Here we are for the night. Bathroom looks okay. And the room. Even got cupboards. And the bike is just across the road. All in all, I'm quite content. Morning folks, day five and today I am still staying in the famous Bay Inn, Bay Inn? Inn, near Perth. Uh, the weather forecast is dreadful today, it's a yellow warning for rain, so I'm staying here tonight as well. I'm just sitting down to breakfast. Uh, and breakfast has just arrived. It's just as well I don't eat this daily. I'm not sure if this is going to show very well, but it's absolutely chucking it down and has been for most of the day. It's 1 p.m. and it's a fairly miserable day. So I'm quite pleased that I didn't take the trip to Inverness because it wouldn't have been very pleasant and so today I'm just spending the time 
editing day one, which so far has taken about three hours, not quite finished, and then I will try and move on to day two to get a little bit of stock in hand, if you like. Anyway, it's uh, it's not all doom and gloom. I'm here for the uh, for the pleasure, and it's very nice where I am. So I'll uh, see you a little later.